on the bench. Uh, for this one, for this tier, I'll just have uh, squad player at best championship. <laughs> I'm going to name that to sell plus. All right. That is the tier list. Let's start with the players. Uh, Ward Prowse. I'm going on the bench. What are you all going to do? I'm going to do... Could do a job. And I'm going to do... Um, for this one... I'll do... Yeah, I'll just do... Squad, yeah, you'll just keep it squad player. Then again, actually, do you know what? Do you know what we're gonna do? We're we'll just delete that row as well. The reason why I'm gonna keep it to three rows is because it wouldn't make sense to have could do a job and squad player. I'm gonna put War Prowse and could do a job. Uh, Zuma needs to go. I think we've seen enough. Um, Zuma's running in quicksand, as I said. Emerson, key player. Uh, best left back I've seen at West Ham by far in my lifetime because I didn't get to watch Julian Dix and all that. Maxwell Corne could do a job. Uh, revive his career, please. Uh, not Bateki. If you're that, would be a big green flag. If you want me on your side, you get this guy on your side, man. This guy could do a job unless I see something in pre season or in games where he's not being good enough. Please just give him a run of games and please, Maxwell Corne, stay at the club. So far, please just sell him. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough of watching him. And people are not going to agree with that, but uh, the guy is very one-dimensional and he's very old. And people want to talk about average and age of the squad, but they don't want to talk about selling Vladimir Sufal. So we'll keep him away. Uh, Said Ben Rama, you need to go as well. Um, cannot shoot a ball, uh, to be honest with you. Um, it either goes straight at the keeper or straight over the bar. Doesn't give you a consistent enough season apart from uh, last season was good, don't get me wrong, but there were still signs in that where he doesn't take on his man individually. I know the manager did hold, hold him back a bit and I will agree with that. But even under Lopetegui, please just go. Please. That should be some loan money that we should get by the end of the season. Key player, Jared Bowen. Do I even need to say a, lot, a bit more? Like This guy is the only man that's probably capable of scoring 20 goals at the club and hopefully Mohamed Kudus will be one of those in the future. But Jared Bowen should, yeah, he's definitely a key player and should only play on the right wing because even though he's played a, played a striker this season, most of the goals that he scored has mostly come off playing off in the inside right forward position. And I think people, um, I think people forget that. All right. Tilo Kera. See, the thing is, Tilo Kera can do a job, but I think for money purposes... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Might be unpopular, but maybe as a squad player, maybe he deserves more of a shot. He only had one full season. What's with Maxwell Corne? Moyes just doesn't like him. Moyes just has his favourites, unfortunately. Moyes is... Um, he got injured um, against Wolves last season. Uh, when we at home, it was like the first game from international break, and Moyes changed up the team completely. He played Skamaka, he played Kera at right back, and he played Corne. Corne had 20 minutes, he got injured. The injury wasn't meant to be that bad, he was meant to be out until like January or something. And we thought, oh, what a disaster! Turns out he came back like around April time. And then when he came back around April time, he was getting like five minutes at the back end of games. That was that was what really hurt me. And then he had this season, and he hasn't you know, he hasn't he hasn't had a chance. He had one start, scored, didn't get a game. Didn't get a game from that. Now, if again, I would sell. Don't get me wrong. Am I willing to give everyone a new chance under a different manager? Yes, but this guy cannot defend. Um, we'll see if his career gets revived. For, but for now, I'm putting him there. Edson Alvarez, key player. Uh, Edson Alvarez deserves to play under a possession-based manager. And... Um, a great, a, he has great aggression, but the one negative I will say is that he needs to control his aggression a lot more. But what I will like, because a lot of his tackles will go to VAR and he'll probably get sent off next season. I'll be completely honest with you. So maybe they'll come to a point where we might have to replace him as well. But at the same point, at the same time, I can see him being 
uh, someone that sets the tempo in possession, especially if Lopetegui is actually going to play 4-3-3. Um, give me a sec. Okay. Thomas Suchek. I th- like, I'm sorry, like, pe- pe- people have some fetish for Thomas Suchek, but pff, I-, I-, I can't watch this guy play football for much longer. Like, the old, like, do you know when you someone scores every, like, five or ten games and it brings, like, this is why you know, all you Suchek haters come outside and all this. Shut up, man. Please just shut up. This guy cannot pass five yards and you're a midfielder. You're a midfielder. You can't pass five yards. He's a great blocker of the ball. He's a great tackler. But you know everything in between the box and the other box, he cannot do. And when you're a midfielder, you've got to be better in between both boxes. The lack of mobility is scary. I mean, four nows is already gone. Commentary is already gone. So, whatever, innit? Ben Johnson, I'm happy with him gone. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's good enough. Um, Pakita is going to go. So, do I even put him in this, guys? Should I put him in this? Leave a comment. Should I put Pakita in this? Because he's pretty much going to go to Manchester City. As much as it's not confirmed, it looks like he will go. So, let me know and I'll come back. Uh, Mavropanos can do a job. I don't think he's the greatest defender in the world. I think he's actually a better out and out defender than I think he's actually a ball playing defender. Like on the ball, he takes too long sometimes, but maybe under a different manager, we'll see something different. But I think overall in defence, like against Newcastle, where we lost 4-3, he didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. All right, no. Cool. I'm not going to put him in. I'm not going to put Pakita in there. Uh, Fabianski can do a job. His second choice goalkeeper. Uh, Ogbonna, you need to go. I'm sorry. You've been a great servant for this club, but please just leave. Um, Your legs are fucking gone, bro. And after that back at top of the game, I think everyone needs to see that. Thank you for the uh, Arsenal away performance, but that's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. Unless you want to play once every 40 games, you're, you're probably not going to do anything. I'm sorry. Mamma Kudis is definitely a key player. And uh, Nea Forget should leave. Yeah. Yeah, he should leave, man. The guy can't defend. Can't defend. Makes too many mistakes. Makes too many mistakes in defence. He hasn't been good this season. And uh, it's, it's not even like... It's like a few games. It's been the whole season when he's played. He's injured right now, and I'm not exactly missing him, but none of our centre backs are good, apart from Aaron Panos. Aaron Cresswell, uh, uh, please just go. Please, for the love of God, just go. It's been 10 years. It's been 10 years. Please just leave. Please. Uh, Antonio could do a job. Uh, not a key player, but he will always be an outlet. He will always be an outlet where we can switch it up, where we can send it long. And we don't have to send it long all the time, but for him to wrap up defenders, there's not, not many defenders in Europe come up against a player like Michael Antonio. Unless you've played throughout the leagues like he has, you haven't come up against someone like him. And uh, he shouldn't be a starter week in, week out because his legs will burn out. But we need him for big games. We absolutely need him for big games. The only problem I have is the fact that he'll probably want to start every game. And I get it. He... He has confidence in himself and he'll probably, as much as he's said in the past he'd like to retire, he probably won't retire here because of that. Six goals, I think. Wait, who's got six goals? Wait. Um, well, Antonio this season. I think he scored six. Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Ariola, key player. He's my hammer of the year. He's my hammer of the year. The guy's been... Sensational this season. Yeah, Mikel. Yeah, Mikel has got six six goals, yeah. Uh, and, the, and the thing is, there's not too much below what he usually gets, like 10 goals, maybe. It's more than last season because he he, he, he was in and out of the team. Um, what was I talking about? Ariola, yes. Ariola's been sensational. It's one of the best individual goalkeeping seasons I've seen at West Ham. Uh, if it wasn't for him, there would have been a 10 nil this season. And I think the commanding of the box, he, he showed that he can do that as well. Maybe not to the level that Fabianski can, but he's very he's very good at distributing the ball. Just a very good shot stop, as he should be as a goalkeeper as well. So if there's anyone that we need to keep, it's definitely him. And Danny Ings. Uh, no offence, mate. He's not a bad striker. 
But he was good for an era in the Premier League for a two up front sort of thing. And it's not even the fact that he's dog shit or anything. He never suited David Moyes. And listen, if we keep him under Lopetegui, he somehow revives his career and whatever in it. But he should be someone that we need to be selling, that we need to be looking at selling. And that's, this is just my opinion. I'm not going to put Pakita in this because he's gone. So if we're looking at next season and uh, we're looking at the tier list here, these are the players I keep. <laughs> These are the players that... Well, these are the key players. These are the players... What do you mean, Emerson? Did you just say Emerson should go? Are you mad? What do you mean, Emerson should go? Are you... You've got to be mad, bro. I know you're not a West Ham fan, but Jesus Christ, Emerson should go. Are you trying to troll me? Uh, Emerson, Bowen, Alvarez, Kudus, and Ariola should be the players that uh, we we should try and build around, in my opinion. These are the, these are the, these are the players that should start. If any of these players are on the bench, I'll be looking at the manager sideways, I can't lie. Lobotegi, that is. Uh, Ward Prowse, Corne, Kera. Kera's a maybe, so I'll put him here. And Ward Prowse, I'll put... Um, Ward Prowse and Corne, I'll put here, because we don't know where Corne's head's going to be. He might want to leave, but you might also think Mo- Moyes is gone. If I was Corne and I saw Moyes is gone, I'd be fucking celebrating. Manfred Panos could do a job, but we he's yet to see whether he could be a starting centre-back. Um, Fabianski is a second choice goalkeeper. Antonio is, is still a, still an outlet, but we need a striker. But we need an actual striker, not end this series. As much as I like Zuma, his legs are gone. Sufa has had some good years at the club, but two one dimensional side. Ben Rama, uh, not good enough again. It's not good enough, but I will listen. I will give him a chance at the Lobotegi, but he, I can't. I've not seen enough from him for me to put him in. Can do a job. Thomas Suchek, listen, seemed like a nice guy. And we signed it, and he signed a new contract last season, which I was not happy about. But cool, good for you. Are you he needs to go. He needs to go. Ben Johnson, I'm not, I don't care whether he leaves or not. I couldn't care less. Angelo Bonner's legs are gone. Cresswell has been here too long. Danny Ings, it, it just shouldn't have been a transfer in the first place. Like, if we're being. Deadly serious. Danny Ings should have never been a transfer.